once that means unsaid. Life without emotions would be as calm as death, like a world without weather. Accept feelings how they are, pleasant or painful. They are natural and don't need fixing. Let them rise and pass without allowing changeable emotions to run your life. We probably don't realize how many different emotions we feel on the same day. It's normal for us to have bad moments where the only light we can see is darkness and good moments where everything seems calmer and peaceful. But did you ever question why we are like this? What power does those strong feelings have on us? How do they really affect us? How do anger affect the way I make new friendships? Or the way I end them? I often ask myself these questions. So, I started researching about it because of my community project. I know, you're probably asking yourself, what's that? Well, a community project is an extensive research that we do in 8th grade in my school for a final exam. At the beginning, you teach a topic that you're interested in that has some sort of issue that can be improved by you by doing an action. So, how did I decide my arguments? In the beginning, I wanted to do something related to art, cinema and photography because it's something I'm really passionate about. At a certain point, I realized that although I really liked that topic, I wanted to, to know more about something I could relate to, that I'm experimenting right now. I just need to find the right topic. I had some ideas, but then something happened that helped me decide. I'm not going to go deep into the details of the story, but I'll tell you anyway. It was somewhere around October. Everything was fine. I was talking with one of my best friends, as usual, when another great friend of mine came and asked me, Hey, how are you? Oh my god, by the way, I like your shirt. I replied with a thanks and you're amazing too. About 10 minutes later, I saw her talking badly about me, saying I was rude and some other stuff. I was shocked. How could she say something like that? When I went to her to ask for some explanation, she denied everything which made me even more anger. I know, it's not a very deep story, but it's something that really hurt me, feeling betrayed from someone I trusted. How am I supposed to know who to trust now? I was so heartbroken about it, because that day I lost a friend I knew since the age of five. Pain turns into anger, and as that sentence says, all of a sudden, all the sadness I felt faded away, making space to anger. I was so angry I could have broken everything. Angry at her, at her friendship, at everything. You're probably asking, how does this story have to do with everything I'm speaking about? Well, because it's right in this moment that I realized what my topic was going to be. Emotions in youth. I, I wanted to know why I couldn't control my anger towards my friend at that moment. Why sometimes I'm so emotional with everyone and why sometimes happiness seems so far away. I wanted to know more, and I decided to take this research opportunity to find some answers to my questions. 
I even created a Google form with some questions on anger control and shared it with all the middle school. Turns out, most people know how to control their anger based on the situation they're in. They tend to cut everyone out of their lives, isolate and forget what they're feeling, hiding it inside, waiting for it to go away. An interesting thing I, I noticed is that anger manages to make us nervous with everyone, even with the ones who aren't related to the problem. So it's something that has consequences on us, but even on people around us. In conclusion, I wanted to share this experience even to show that from peaceful moments, you can gain power that will make you stronger. Sabatire says, your emotions make you human. Even the most unpleasant ones have a purpose. Don't lock them away. If you ignore them, they will just get louder and angrier. I think this quote summarizes completely what I'm trying to express. I'm going to leave you with a piece of advice. If there's one way you want to feel right now, feel it. And if you can't, go and solve that problem that divides you and your happiness. As you saw, feeling certain ways is common. But the difficult part stands in being able to control them and fight them. Because we can't escape ourselves. We can't escape something inside us. Our feelings, our thoughts, our fears. We are the only person we will spend the rest of our life with. Let them rise and pass without allowing changeable emotions to run your life. Face what you're going through, accept it and fight it. If you need to vent your anger, vent it. Even emotions have a circle of life. They come, provoke a reaction and go away. Let them do their job without compressing them. Stop hiding from yourself. At the end, I think I chose the right topic for my community project, because it wasn't a research that bored me. I was pleased to research on emotions in youth. Thank you.